Well, hello everyone, Dan Hurt, Dan Hurt Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. I am back here on Tranquil River. I had two hours to kill while I was in Kamloops, nothing to do. I thought what better way to kill a sunny afternoon than to go up to the public panning reserve on Tranquil River and see if I can find myself some of that gold. So, wish me luck, and I hope you enjoy. Now, as I said, this is a public spot. It's not actually a public panning reserve. It's just a spot that's open for the public to pan. It's a free for all here. And I don't have time to get up into any of my claims and most of them are still flooded out. This river has finally come down. There's some gold to be found and I don't have time to do anything serious. So I'm just out here with my gold pan and shovel to see if I can find some gold and enjoy the afternoon. I, today, I think I'm going to dig right through there and see what, you know, that exposed little shelf has to offer. So today I will be using the Arbor Fabricating quarter inch classifier. This is the world's best classifier for sure. I prefer using it in a bucket, not a pan, but today we're just using the pan. So we got this in the pan. If you want your own Arbor Fabricating classifier, there's a link in the description with a discount code. So my first pan seems to be about a half a pan here. Let's see what it has in it. Let's see if pan number one is lucky. Well, let's see what Tranquil gives me for the first pan of the year. Oh, a couple of little flakes. Well, it's enough to bring out the close-up camera. Well, there we go. In the first pan from Tranquil River of 2022, we've got five flakes of gold. A couple of little tiny things as well. But five nice flakes, well, small flakes. Let's hope for more in the next one. And there we go, pan number two. I got a little fuller, more fuller, more fuller-ish. I got more material in there. Let's hope we get more gold because of it. about the same in pan two. We gotta find the big pieces. These little pieces are not gonna add up to anything. I gotta find the big chunks. They're here, just gotta find them. So pan three here, I seem to have actually got down to bedrock in that hole. You know, the bedrock here is a sandstone that's just crumbling. So I'm breaking up some of the sandstone. Hopefully it means it was holding some of the bigger pieces down there and that they will have been released into my pan. Oh, that's hope. Two flakes washing out of the back corner already. Means I need to settle better. I was going maybe a little quick there. Two nice looking flakes wash out on that back edge. Let me resettle this, get those down to the bottom where they're supposed to be, and then pan this one out carefully. This could be a good pan. Okay, let's settle this properly, get that gold where it's supposed to be. I sometimes rush a little bit, but even when I am rushing, the pans are very forgiving. It let me know I was rushing. It didn't lose the gold. It just showed it to me before it was supposed to and say, hey Dan, slow down. And here's where all the trolls come out. You don't know how to pan. Uh, uh, people. I do this for a living. Oh 
Okay, let's see. Oh, I see one, two, three big pieces. Nice. Three nice pieces of gold. Now there's some small pieces in there as well, but those three big pieces, any one of those three big pieces is more gold than I got in the first two pans. So that's what I need to do. I need to get down onto that bedrock. Woohoo! Taking a quick break here to talk a little bit about numbers. I know everyone's favorite topic, numbers. I was going a bit quick in that pan and I tend to pan very quick. My theory behind that is it's all a numbers game. If I lose 10% of my gold because I'm going too quick, but I can process 200% more material, I'm still 180% ahead of the game. I'm still getting way more gold, even though I'm losing 10% because I'm rushing. If the goal at the end of the day is to get as much gold as you can, more material through your pan, the better you're gonna do, even if you lose a little bit along the way. That's my theory. Obviously there's exceptions, but in a place like this where I have unlimited gravel, may as well put as much to that pan as I can. Let's go for pan four. This next pan was mostly slough. My hole kind of fell in, it sloughed in on me. But I figured rather than just digging and throwing it away, I'd throw it in my pan and quickly pan it out. I did get one or two scoops from the bottom where I saw some broken up bedrock, so let's hope. I really need new waders. These things have leaks everywhere. I may as well have just jumped in the water. My boots are full. My butt's wet. I feel water draining down my leg right now. Uh. Three or four pieces, but that's more of like what we saw in the overburden before. So it looks like the overburden has these smaller flakes where the bedrock has the bigger flakes. Let's get back down onto that bedrock. And this next pan, we do have a lot more broken up bedrock in it. So I'm de definitely down onto the bedrock again. Let's hope that means back on the gold. Well, classified down through the quarter inch classifier, that didn't end up being all that much material. It's less than half a pan. Let's hope less than half a pan has more than full flakes. Well, it looks to be the same sort of overburden type flakes. Maybe a bit bigger, but no big chunks like that first pan on bedrock. Though no one can complain about that for gold, that's still pretty nice. So two pans in a row I didn't film because there was, you know, nothing but little specks in it. I am scraping the bedrock well now, but not finding any more of those big chunks, which is unfortunate. This pan hopefully has it. Otherwise I might have to change spots. That's right, threaten the gravel of leaving them. Threaten the gravel of leaving it. Oh, that's what I need to do. I need to threaten it. There's some better gold. Let's get out the close up for that. So it's still not the big pickers I'm hoping for, but we got some more gold in this pan. And that's not a bad flake right there. If I could get half a dozen of those in every pan, I'd be happy. Well, let's see what else the hole has to offer. Well, the new spot's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. I'll try another pan from there to see if there's anything more. Well, alrighty then. Let's get this last pan of mine today all on camera, right from classifying all the way down to finishing. One clear shot, no cuts. And hope there's something in it. Unfortunately, I do have to get going to my meeting. I've already pushed this, you know, a half hour more than I was supposed to be down here today. Because I'm having fun. It's a beautiful day. Nice and relaxing. Cool water out in the sunshine. I am loving this. Not finding all that much gold. But hey, today was about having fun. Not about finding gold. Well, okay, yes, it's about finding gold too. Every once in a while, I just like to get out and do some, you know, recreational panning. Nothing to do with one of my mine sites or anything like that, where I'm, you know, proving grounds or getting ready for machine operations or any of that kind of stuff. Sometimes I like to just go out into the river and pan.
It's a little difficult doing this pan <laughs> when it's full like this, one-handed. My arms aren't that strong. Let's hope there's at least one good flake in here. I've only got those three good flakes so far today. A couple of medium-sized ones. Nothing I'd even really call a picker, even though those three I could pick up with my fingers. They would be pretty small for pickers. This was back on the original hole. Scraping the bedrock one more time. The new spots I was trying, they had a bit of gold, but didn't really show much. So I decided for the last pan of the day, I'd just go back to the original hole, do one more really good clean of the bedrock. Hard to really clean the bedrock when it's so fractured and breaking up. The only thing you can really do is dig into it and hope you get what's hiding below. Hmm, got rocks. I'm wondering why I have big rocks in here. I'm not very careful putting into you know, the Arbor Fabricating Classifier, and sometimes I drop things around the edge that still lands in the pan. That thing works much better in a bucket than it does in the pan. But, whatever. It works for the pan, too. And again, it is the world's best classifier. Get yourself one. Link below in the description. Come on, gold. Come on, gold. I want the gold today. One last nice piece to end the day off with. Well, here we go. The moment of truth. Uh-oh, not looking good. Oh, there's one. <laughs> one flake to end the day off with. Eee. Well, let's get close up for the last flake of the day. And then I'll show you everything I got today, all at once. There we are, the last big flake of the day. Now, just so you know, at Tranquil here, the Tranquil River, that's where I'm at, I usually do way better than I did today. But I only had two hours, I went back to a place I'd worked before, and well, it just didn't do it for me today. But let's get out everything and show you what I got. Okay, let's see what we got in the snuffer bottle today. A lot of black sand is what we got. And some yellow sand too. Well, the GoPro is not gonna show this very well, so let's get up the close up to take a picture of those. Well, there we be. You know, three or four bigger pieces, a whole lot of smaller stuff. It's not terrible for Tranquil, but Tranquil you can do a whole lot better than that in a day. Now again, I was only here for two hours. You know, multiply that by four to see what a full day worth of gold would look like. That wouldn't be too terrible. Can't complain about that. Well, the gold's back in the snuffer bottle. I will be taking that home. I will be making a special pay dirt bag using the gold from here that will be up in the auctions on the day I release this video. If you want your own Tranquil Gold, check out the auctions on my website, www.danherdprospecting.com. And of course, I'm filling in my holes and taking my garbage out of the claim. Some of the panners here on Tranquil are terrible for digging great big holes and just leaving these craters all over the place. Public service announcement of the day, if you're digging big holes, fill them in. What a gorgeous day to be out here working on the river. Summer's here at last. It's been a long, cold spring, but we can finally get out. The waters are finally coming down. I can get into some of my best claims very shortly. I'm loving life right now. I sure hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me that thumbs up. If I haven't earned your subscription already, I hope I earned your subscription today. And a big thanks to everyone for watching, especially my patrons. Because the support of my patrons, I get to make these weekly episodes of Danford Prospecting. I hope you're all having an amazing day. And until the next video, 